Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how you can replace a face in a classical Renaissance painting with a photo of someone you know. The Mona Lisa by da Vinci is probably the best example of a Renaissance portrait. This document is large so we can retain the clarity of the work. It's almost 40 by 60 inches with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. I've chosen a photo of a face who's angled similar to the way Mona Lisa is, plus both faces have their shadows mainly on the right. Whatever Renaissance painting you choose, make sure the photo you use shares similar angles and lighting as are in the painting. To get this photo into the painting document, click down anywhere in the image and drag it up onto the tab of the painting. Then with your mouse or pen still held down, drag it down onto the image and release. Next we'll load our texture into the painting document. I downloaded this from cgtextures.com. We'll use this as the fine line cracking you see in old oil paintings. The term for this is called cracular or crazing. As before, click on it, drag it up onto the tab, and drag it down onto the image. We'll rename this texture cracular and we'll rename the photo Photo Base. Let's resize and reposition the photo onto the Mona Lisa. We'll bring down the opacity so we can see through it. Press Ctrl or Command T to call up the transform and then Ctrl or Command Zero to see the entire transform on our screen. Go to a corner and click and drag it in to reduce its size. To move the photo just bring your cursor anywhere inside the transform box and drag it. To angle it, go to a corner and when you see a small curved double arrow, click and drag it counter or counterclockwise to turn it on its axis. We need to make a selection around her face. There are many ways to make a selection, but I'm going to use the pen tool since it will make a very accurate selection, especially around the left side of her face. If you're going to choose the pen tool, once you complete the path, right click and choose Make Selection. Then press Q to get your quick mask and press B to get your brush. Make sure black is your foreground color and 100% opacity. We'll use this mask to blend in her skin to ultimately match the rest of the painting. To blend in her neck with Mona Lisa's, use a large brush size. Paint over most of her hair as well. When you're done, press Q to get the selection and then we'll save it. So go to Select, Save Selection and then press OK. Go to the Layers panel and click the Layer Mask icon. This will make a layer mask of the selection which will reveal just the face of the girl while masking out the rest. Click on the photo of the girl to make her active and change the blending mode from Normal to Luminosity. Then click on the layer of the original Mona Lisa and press Ctrl or Command J to make a duplicate. Go to your Clone Stamp tool and choose the Clone Stamp. Clone over the areas of Mona Lisa's face so it doesn't peek behind the image of the new face. I'll be going over how to use the Clone Stamp tool in a separate tutorial. We're ready to apply the texture. Make the Cracular layer active and make sure you have Snap checked. The texture needs to cover the face and neck of the new photo, so press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you click and drag the box to the right. Then release your mouse or pen. The box will click into place because we checked Snap. Now repeat the process, but this time drag down. And now repeat it to the left. Now we have the same texture that covers her entire head and neck. To merge these four boxes of texture into one, press Ctrl or Command E three times. Go to the layer mask below it and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it. This will call up its selection. Then go to the layer mask icon and click on it. Because the cracular texture layer is active, the layer mask will be applied to that layer. In order to see through the texture, we need to change the blending mode. Click on the texture to make it active and change the blending mode to Linear Burn. 
To blend it in more, we need to bring down the opacity. I'm going to bring it down to 35%. It's starting to look real good, but there are grayish colors that need to be removed. Let's first make a composite snapshot of the entire painting as it looks now and place it on its own layer. To do this, press Control Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Press the letter I to call up your eyedropper tool and then click on an area of her skin to choose that color. Go up to the blending mode and change it to color. I'm bringing the opacity down to 33%. Now just brush over the gray areas to change the color. For the finishing touch, I just want to darken the left edge of her face a bit more since her hair would block some of the light in that area. For this blending mode, I'm choosing soft light and I'll bring down the opacity to 32%. I'll just brush over that area which will add contour and depth around her face. So here is our final painting. By following the methods shown here, have fun placing someone you know in a Renaissance painting. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.